Hello everyone, it's really lovely to see you all again. I hope you're all well and I hope that your return to school has gone well and I really look forward to the time that we can meet again at Lighthouse but until we're allowed to do that I'm going to carry on telling you Bible stories on these videos. So our story today is all on the theme of joy because you might remember that we are learning about the fruit of the Spirit and one of the fruits of the Spirit is joy. The Holy Spirit gives us joy. There are lots of stories about joy in the Bible and people feeling joyful because the Holy Spirit is in them. But the one that I've chosen today is from Acts chapter 16, verses 16 to 40. So maybe you can read that in your Bible later. And I'm going to put it here because I'm going to read you one or two of the verses during the story. It's all about Paul and Silas. Now, Paul and Silas were believers, we would say Christians today, and they travelled around telling other people the good news of Jesus Christ, that he died for all of us to save us all, and that he rose again, and that um, one day when we die, we can go and join him in heaven. Now, Paul and Silas went to lots of different towns, and one of the towns that they went to was Philippi. And when they arrived at Philippi, they met a lady called Lydia, and they told Lydia all about Jesus. And Lydia believed, and Lydia was baptised, and so was the whole of her household, so her, her family and her servants, everyone who lived with her. And I'm sure there was great joy in Lydia's household that day. And then after that, Paul and Silas went to uh, a place to pray, and they were followed by a young slave girl who realised that they were people of God and she kept calling out uh, behind them. Now, her owners, because remember she was a slave, um, used to use her and make money out of her because uh, they believed that this girl could tell the future. And Paul actually took that evil spirit that was inside her out and she became free again. She was no longer enslaved to, uh, to the evil spirit um, within her, but her owners were very cross about that because they could see, believe that she didn't, couldn't tell the future anymore. And so they took Paul and Silas to the magistrates of the city, the people who were in charge of the law, and um, the magistrates had them beaten and thrown into jail. And the jailer was put in charge of them. Now, one of my favourite verses from this passage. At about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Now, I think if I'd been thrown into jail, I think, yes, I might be praying and um, asking Jesus to be with me and to help me. I'm not sure that I would be so joyful that I would be singing hymns as well. But I think that was wonderful that Paul and Silas were actually so happy because they knew that Jesus was with them and they knew that he would save them. And sure enough, suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison, prison were shaken and at once all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains fell loose. Now, what was the jailer doing during this time? Well, the jailer had clearly been asleep because it says that the jailer woke up. If you let your prisoners escape in those days, then the penalty was death. And so the jailer actually pulled out his own sword and he was about to kill himself because he knew that he would be punished in that way. But Paul called out and said, no, stop, we're all here. The doors are open, but we have not escaped. And the jailer was so amazed that he said to Paul, what must I do to be saved? That's in verse 30. And so Paul told him all about Jesus and how Jesus had died to save us all. And the prisoner, the, the jailer, and all his household 
they were baptised and they became Christians on that day. And it says in verse 34, The jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy. There's that word again, joy. Because he had come to believe in God, he and his whole household. So believing in God had made him so joyful. And I'm sure there was a lot of joy in his household that day. Now, there's a funny little bit at the end where it says that uh, the magistrates of the city sent a message to the jailer to say that Paul and Silas could go because they were only meant to be in prison for one night. And Paul said, well, actually, we are Roman citizens and um, we shouldn't have been treated in that way. And the magistrates were actually quite scared then because if you were a Roman citizen, you, you shouldn't be beaten or thrown into jail. And so the magistrates actually came and they apologised to Paul and Silas and they escorted them out of the prison. And even then, Paul and Silas decided that they were going to go and visit Lydia. And it says in verse 40, After Paul and Silas came out of the prison, they went to Lydia's house where they met with the brothers and sisters and encouraged them. And then they left. So there was a church in Philippi that Paul had started and Lydia um, was part of that. So that's wonderful, isn't it? That, that Paul and Silas were, were spreading the joyous news of Jesus all over the place, including this place called Philippi. Now, I wonder if you can spread a little bit of that joy today because if you are a Christian and if you believe in Jesus then that is a joyful thing. So think about who you can tell today so that they can share a little bit of that joy too. See you next time. Bye.